very important. Yes, uh, can you see the screen? Is it visible? Tell me, please. Like you can see it? Right, okay, yeah, so, right, fine. Okay, thank you, Radha. Thank you, Nishta. And uh, today, what I'm going to discuss is, uh, it is your subject, verb, and remains, okay? And we've been waiting for, uh, you know, to discuss this for a long, long time. And although we, we keep on uh, this new, when you are speaking, when you are writing, you automatically find that something is right or something is wrong. Generally, the mistakes that we make, we make related to our tenses that we do, isn't it? When we did the editing passage. And uh, after that, uh, I would say the maximum mistakes we do, it is a subject verb agreement. Now, when I talk about the subject verb agreement, it is that the verb should agree with the subject okay right that is your basic subject verb agreement now what you have to identify is that is your subject singular or plural right and we know that a singular subject will take a singular verb plural, plural subject will take a plural verb right this is the basic premise that we are very clear about. Secondly, when does the subject act as a singular? And when is it plural? Right? So here, we, we know that, you know, like, of course, we are able to identify the plurals and when we are going to use the appropriate verb with it. So your verbs like am, are, was, were, has, have, were, right? Mean, being, all that. So what is going to come with which subject? So when you are able to identify that for simple sub sentences, it's okay, right? We know that this is what I have to write. But the problem happens is when we are not able to identify whether the subject is singular or when the subject is plural, okay? Right here. Now I have, uh, you know, started here. Just look at the screen here. Singular subjects, two different subjects, when they are joined by and. Yes, uh, so I, I can say like, uh, say uh, Raghav and uh, Rishit are good friends. I'm talking about two different people, isn't it? It's not the same person. Sometimes we have that, yes, the subject, it might appear to be as a plural, but it is talking about the same person. Now, these are the things that we need to identify, okay? Right? Yes, so like uh, you, you, you can uh, say, yeah, bread and butter, right? So we use them together. You talk about your rajma and rice. It's a popular dish, isn't it? Right? So those things, they go together. It is treated as one. So the verb will be accordingly. Now look at it. Shashi and Indu are sisters because they are separate. Fine? They are singular. Shashi is singular. Indu is singular. But they are joined with by and. So the verb is also going to be plural. You, he, and I. You singular, he singular, I singular, or singular, singular. But together they have made a plural. So the verb also. Right? Okay? So Ram and Sham play together. Ram plays with his friends. How it changes. Okay? Right? So these are little, little things that you have to remember. So when you have uh, sentences which you have to join with is or are, right? Then you have to identify this. Now, now when two subjects are joined with as well as. I as well as my friend got wet in the rain. Together. Okay, right? So this is there. But yes, when we are using the verb here, right? Look at it like 
I as well as you. You might think you is the subject here. With the latter one, we join it and you might write are. But when we use as well as, it will agree with the first subject. Okay? Fine? So I as well as you am because with I, what do we use? Am. But when we give our speech, what do we say? Is. It's wrong. Okay? Right? I've told you time and again to make that correction. So when you do that, so I say, Mansha, I'm going to speak on this topic. Okay? Right? So it is to remember now. His parents as well as he. Now look at this. His parents and he. One is a plural and one is singular. Right? So what is the verb going to be? If it is going to agree with the first one. As well as. Right? His parents. So we're talking about his parents. So it will be are. Okay? And otherwise also, if it had been he, what would it be? Then he as well as his parents. The first one, he. He ke saath aar hota, is hota, is hota. Isn't it? So the change in position is going to change in the verb. Now singular ones, once again, when they are connected by I, or, nor, either, or, neither, nor, they take a verb which agrees with the latter subject. Right? Either you or he has stolen. So it's one singular. Either ke saath kya hota? Either or. That means this or that. Dono mein se ek choice. Isn't it? Right? And with neither it is, neither do I have a pen or a, nor a pencil. Nothing. Both. Right? Okay? Then, see here. Either you or he has stolen the what? So he has Right? Or you have stolen the watch. So with the latter. So neither he nor his friend is guilty. She or her sister is present there. Fine? So you will find out accordingly. Now when there are two different subjects joined by neither nor either, then the subject nearest to it. Jo bilkul last wala hai, then you will think about that. Either he or his companions were. They're different things. Right? Two subjects of different persons. Okay? And here one might be a singular, otherwise might be a plural. Okay? So the nearest one. So either he or his companions. So he ke saath nahi hoga wo agree. What will it agree with? Companions. Right? The last one. Okay? So either he or his companions, companions, plural, so were guilty, right? So either she or her parents, parents we take as, right? So parents are guilty, okay? Either his companions or he, ab ye dekh lo, pe the change bhi kar diya, right? His companions hoke to were guilty, he hai to was guilty, right? Either her parents or she is mistaken. She ke saath is mistaken, right? Fine. Parents ke saath are mistaken. Either, neither, each, every and every one are followed because they all denote what? A singular one, right? They denote a singular thing, a person. So either of the two brothers, either, ya ye, ya ho. But ek hi hai na? It is not both. Isn't it? Right? So either of the two brothers is at fault. Dono mein se ek hai. So is. Neither of these two roads leads to the hospital. Dono mein se koi bhi nahi. One. Right? Yeah, if it had been both of these roads lead to the hospital. Both ke saath change ho jata. Okay, right? Each of them is honest. Each one, 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 one. We're talking about them then. 
Every scout honors the scout law. Every student obeys the school rules. Isn't it? Right? Fine. Every doctor performs his duty. Right? That way. Every one of the girls likes her dress. Everyone, but sub individually, A, K, 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 K. Right? All the girls like her dress. Then it would be different, isn't it? So everyone, once again, by a singular one. This page, you should read it again and again and just memorize it, you know. Then you will never ever get your subject verb wrong. Now look at this one. This one is where we find a lot of problems. Two singular nouns refer to the same person, the poet and philosopher. Who poet be hai, philosopher be hai. Right? Okay. The poet and the philosopher is dead. Once again, you see, and the sa join hai, do hai. But are we talking to about two different people? We're talking about the same person. Right? Otherwise, again, the definite article would have been there if it would have been two different things. Then the verb would have changed. Okay? Right. My friend and colleague. Same, he's my friend also, he's my colleague also. Right? Fine. My friend and captain. He's the same person. Has come. Ek ke liye, right? So they're the same person. We're not talking about two different individuals. Article will not be repeated when it is the same person. Article kab repeat hoga when it is a different person. Okay, right. Look at this one now. Slow and steady. Two subjects. Hum together usko kare. Slow and steady. It is when we talk about it in the same, you know, uh, what uh, sentence or in the same arrangement. The verb may be in the singular. Slow and steady wins the race. Same thing. Rice and curry is my favorite dish because they are together. Bread and butter is a popular breakfast. Isn't it? Right? So it's together. Bread and butter, it goes together. Now here, look. Sometimes it looks ki, aray, ye plural hai, ye zyada numbers hai. But we treat it as one only. Okay? 900 rupees. Right? Okay? Is not much for this cow. So what is 900 rupees? It is as a singular because it is what an amount of money which is being treated as a specific quantity. Right? So if separate separate hota, then it would have been different. Right? So this is a 900 rupees, the, the, the cost of the dress or yes, so 200 for that then it would have been different, okay? But we are talking about one unit, a distance. Distance, it is also, you know, like you think about, are it 20 kilometers, right? Fine, the distance, uh, say, from uh, Jalandhar to uh, Delhi is 400 kilometers. I won't say R, just because it's a plural, okay? It is one entity, it is one quantity, it is one amount. Okay, right? Now look here, when two or more singular are joined, once again, singular hai, or usko kis kis hai joined here, with, together, and, not, besides, no less, and once again, it is singular. The suitcase, with all its contents, contents kis me the? Suitcase me. It is one thing, right? So the suitcase with all its contents. Everything is plural here. Contents plural here. Contents is The content is of the suitcase, right? So the suitcase with all its contents was stolen. What are we talking about? This is, I would say here, it is the complement of the subject right it is adding more information about it and so 
it is here we talk about the subject only and what is the subject here it is a suitcase suitcase is one so it is going to be was kamal together with her sister this is more information we know but otherwise look at kamal it is a subject and with kamal it would be is so let's eliminate all that is given in between right so that extra information talk about the subject so look at the subject okay what is the subject kamal is there no one no one besides the nurse knows this secret subject kya hai no one besides ke sath what is there the nurse okay right of course here right but it is we are talking about what this person only he and not you is to blame dono ko to nahi kaha na he and you both are to be blamed phir hota yes we are talking about he so the subject is he okay he no less than you is guilty once again singular right then here sometimes the verb is there and then the noun it follows okay there is no leaf on the tree the leaves have fallen off the tree right leaf ke sath kya aayega singular okay there were many players present there players were there are six boys in the classroom there is one boy in the classroom right so our statement of today is this fine ab dekho dekhne mein ye plural lagte hain but hote hain singular hai meaning mein subjects i talk about mathematics i talk about economics isn't it they are what you study so many mathematics it's one only isn't it just because it has an s does not make it a physics right okay so it is one mathematics is my favorite subject yes it is yes it is right fine this news is false this news singular news is singular right so once again what are the things you have to remember identify the subject is it singular is it plural if you are able to identify that some things are used together some things they appear to be plural but they are singular ab jaise distance hai money hai cost hai right they are singular you have things which are used together right like your bread and butter okay fine so these are there like of course we talk about tea and coffee then we say it's a popular beverage okay right so yeah that way so here like you talk about the subjects also here this singular so words which are there you know they just they appear to be but they are singular Ver like wages news economics physics right okay aerobics because it has an s does not mean that it is a plural okay now here once again here the plural noun which is the name of a country or province or the title of a book once again you have the title of the book here with the plural but it would carry or it would be there with a singular verb united states it's a country okay it is there yes but it is treated as one entity so the united states and generally we have we used the before the you know yes uh, like the united kingdom the republic of china isn't it so we use that the united states has a fine navy we talk about a country arabian nights a book right so contains interesting story it's the name of the book so it is as a singular great expectations once again oh my god it's expectations it should be plural no it is the name it's a name okay it is singular then let's see here collective noun it is when we have 
like uh, you have uh, collective noun mein jury hai mob isn't it right so those are your collective noun you have a flock you have a herd you have a fleet right yes then but here we are talking look at this a collective noun it takes a singular verb when the subject stands for the collection as a whole and a plural when it is treated as individually jury hai panel hai okay right so it can be here singular also it can be plural also right now like see the whole class is absent right otherwise there are 40 students in this class right the mob has dispersed the mob created or did a lot of damage right the mob damaged the property anything it could be yes we don't say mob we say mob only the gentry right the gentry gentry we talk about the people who are there you know your um, elite ones or you have uh, the officials there okay the gentry is sitting on the chairs or the gentry is sitting in the front row okay so gentry we take it as one but ab yehi dekho i talk about jury i can use it as a singular i can here when i talk about it as the individual member what is the jury what's the jury a group of members who are there to decide right so on uh, take a decision about a case no right so the jury has four members the jury has different opinions right so individually or collectively the crew were arrested this is one of the most common mistake that we do crew crew kya hota hai workers right so you have uh, and of course here the crew were arrested so it's not one many right or if i talk about here the crew is trained in what you can say emergency measures then yes it is them isn't it so we talking about them as a unit but otherwise yes when i talk about them each one individually okay a relative pronoun relative he i they you this ke sath mein uska hai right okay we have that it is he who is to blame he ke sath kya hoga is it is they who are to blame they ke sath are it is you who are to blame it is you who is to blame you who am to blame no are you are doing a good job right right it is you who should get the credit right it is i who am to blame i ke sath am please remember it is ko underline karo apni kahin pe bhi notebook mein anywhere i ke sath am he has sold the cow the cow which give Okay, so you have your relative pronouns there, your who and which and what, whatever. Now, yes, so two thirds of the book. We're talking about a number in particular. We're talking about this book here, right? The part of it is easy. Many people live in slums, right? Many people, people there. A pair of shoes. Pair ke saath to ham kya use karte? Singular hi hota na. A large number is. ill news hum to are ill news spread fast hone chahiye news is what singular news spreads fast one of my friends friends hai but we talk about one singular the quality of the mangoes 
yes was not good not only he but all his companions were arrested he all his companions fir isme kaun sa the nearest aata hai na yeah not only you but also i am to blame okay right so these are things here and please just look at this so gulliver travels it's the name of book right it won't be r okay right jury thing below fine so these are the things that you need to remember and i hope you are going to do well in your test so any problem any doubt any one of you any doubts any questions do you have any doubts any questions 